What is proprioception and how does it affect your balance? Proprioception is a sense of where you are in space. If you are in a pitch black cave and you can't see at all, you have a sense of where you are in space and that sense is called proprioception. It's that awareness of not only where your arms and legs are, but really where your whole body is in space. So what part of our body gives us proprioception? Well, that's a good question. A lot of people are under the misconception that there's something in the inner ear that's responsible for all of our proprioception. And that's definitely not true, but it doesn't stop people from often thinking that their inner ear damage is the cause of all uh, proprioceptive loss or all vertigo. Um, balance and, and proprioception and position sense is uh, a function of a thing called the vestibular pathway. So if you look at the vestibular pathway, it includes the cochlea, which is in the inner ear. It also includes all of the nerves that, that go to our skin and tell us if we're standing or if, we're, if there's pressure on our body. It also goes to the nerves in our joints, the mechanoreceptors that tell your body, your brain, if, you're, if your joint is open and clo or closed. Um, it also includes your hearing, your eyes, all of those um, external uh, sensory organs report back in through the cerebellum and the brainstem back into the brain. And then there's different regions of the brain that perceive and sense, position sense, and put all that together. And then, it, then those areas send that information of where your body is in space to the parts of your brain that plan, uh, execute, coordinate, and also um, check on movement. So before you can move, your body has to know where it is in space. So proprioception um, actually is a, is a very important sense. And it's the only way that we can move in a coordinated and normal fashion. People that have damage to proprioception, whether it's from a disease like Parkinson's disease, or a stroke, or a head injury, or even drugs or uh, medications can affect proprioception. Anyone that has a, a problem in any component of the system can have damage to their proprioceptive system. But it, it is important to remember that, that there really is more than one component to it. Um, the inner ear, the cochlea, which is a very important organ, a very important component of it, definitely gives us our sense of when we're moving right or left or forward or backward. It also gives us a sense of acceleration. But if that organ is damaged or, or lost, a person can still get a, a sense of where they are in space. It's possible to still have proprioception, to still have coordinated motion. Um, the balance system has a lot of duplication in it. So if we lose one component um, or, or one area, the other areas can compensate. And, and the best example of that, that I think most people can relate to is someone who has a, a vision all their life can lose their vision due to an accident and become blind. And they can relearn how to walk, how to balance themselves, how to get through their day without vision. In fact, some people get so good at it that when you watch them, you can't tell that they're blind, not until they you know, put the glasses on and, and have their cane. And that is always so amazing to me that, that someone without any vision at all, which is something that most of us really do rely on when we're moving about and getting through our day, that they can function at such a high level. And I think that's a good example when we think about the proprioceptive system, that the system has a lot of duplication in it. And so, if you lose your cochlea, or if your cochlea is giving you the wrong information, or if you lose your, your vision, or, or, or your, your, through neuropathy, you lose sensation in your feet, you can still compensate for that. Yes, your balance is gonna be affected. Of course, you might even feel dizzy or even have vertigo, depending on what's wrong. But the system has so much repetition and duplication in it that it's possible for one or two things to go wrong and a person still be able to balance themselves.